Welcome back. This is the second video on the Chief Challenges tonight. This guy is pretty easy. He's melee. He puts up frost. That frost will pulse every second on you. He puts up frost for 10 seconds. As it pulses, it will do damage to everyone around you, plus damage to you. So if you have a lot of people clumped up, he's going to run up and do a lot of damage. So you want to have one solo tank off to the side like I have Megan right now. He's going to run up to Megan, and then if you do have another melee coming behind him, it's okay. They're far enough away that if they have that frost pulsing on them, they're not going to take a crazy amount of damage. Now, I'm bringing in melee right here with Questa. You could bring in ranged and just have her tank the whole entire time with high resistance if you want to, so you won't get that frost and it's easy this boss doesn't do anything else no damage to anybody else in the back so ranged has it very easy we have witch's remains over here on iola for decreased attack as well as putting up our decreased defense we have joyce as our damage dealer because we actually get to use a summons here that stays away and does a lot of damage if we brought in other summons which we tried today on stream they run up and stand right next to megan get that frost debuff easily and start tearing her apart she just dies way too easy with other summons running up there with your tank or healer really healer tank is what you need you don't need a tank here in these then we've got zarloth here doing additional damage for us and we have Questa doing some damage for us as well. This boss does take 100% additional damage from Necrosis. Here he extends his Frost debuff by 5 seconds. So every time it's applied to you, it's a 10 second debuff. And every second, it's going to explode and do damage to that person as well as anybody immediately around them. Touching them like a square away. Here he just applies Frost. Applies Frost again. 3x3. Three three. Then he gets increased attack and does damage on this ultimate. It's nice to get decreased attack up on him if you can. He's really not a crazy damage dealer to be honest. And if you have high resistance, you'll be okay. The way he's going to run up to Megan makes it extremely nice for us. The way he's positioned then, that 3x3 three three hit is not hitting anyone else. It's not even going to hit Questa. It's just going to hit Megan the way it does. I think it does it as a centered target. You know how some 3x3s three can move? to get the most people available, like however many, like get the most people that would be in a three by three. This guy can only do it centered on the person in front of him. So it's only hitting Megan and everybody around, which is great for us, makes positioning very, very easy. Now Questa is getting hit by Frost because he's near the, she's near the boss, but we're not getting that additional pulsing damage. When we have Frost on, we are getting damage every second. We're taking damage. So it's not great to have Frost on, but it's not that bad because we're not taking double the damage because they're not close enough e to each other to do that. Now, if you wanted to just play another ranged unit, you could. You could Instead of Questa, you could have another ranged unit back there in between Zarloff and Joyce, and they'd never take damage. Only person ever taking damage then would be Megan. So I think this fight is actually really simple. Don't rely on summons that much. If you rely on a lot of summons coming up here, like we did on stream. They just do, they get frost and then they take, everybody takes too much damage. Like everybody around each of the summons starts taking damage. Megan would die quick. Questa would die so fast and we just can't have that happen. So unfortunately, summons that go up there that aren't like Joyce. Joyce sits back, right, with all the summons. And Joyce is actually a good damage dealer. Now, if we put the same gear that Joyce has on Questa right now, we would have Questa up there doing an amazing amount of damage. It's really just because Joyce has a very good artifact and the better gear than Questa has right now is why there's such a disparity in damage. Although Joyce is a very high single target damage dealer, without a doubt, very high. Questa's healing herself some. We're getting some heals from Zarloth. We're getting heals from Megan. Really easy to keep, keep everybody alive. Decrease attack there. Decrease attack sometimes from Questa as well. So it seems like a pretty good, easy group. I'm doing all these teams without legendaries, without a lot of legendary artifacts. That way we can see how difficult these bosses are. And we already did the... We did one boss that's just like Stagamuffin in a video prior to this. We're going to do about three or four videos tonight. We'll do the other two tomorrow. And the bosses seem pretty easy, but it's because we have Mythic gear on. And I'll show you my elemental affinity. I forgot to mention that. I'll show you that right now on the screen so you can see how far out my elemental affinity is for how much additional damage we're getting. But without this mythic gear, will we still be able to do this? Maybe. We're going to time. We're, we're doing the whole time. We're running out of time. Look at 2 minutes and 27 seconds. The issue with this team is we're not really pulling in, surprisingly, not a lot of damage. We're taking stacks. Like we're taking, we're at 7 stacks right now. Usually when you get to like 11 stacks from season 1 or season 2, 
the ball starts to hit way too hard. Unless you have some really good heroes, some really good legendaries, it just gets too difficult to keep fighting the boss. But we're getting up there. And we're going to make it all the way to the end of the time here. And we're barely at 23, 25 million. Which isn't great because a lot of the other bosses were at 30 something, 36 million. And at 36 million, without that mythic gear, we're good. We can do it. But here, I don't know if we can make up this 26 million and get 22 million if we don't have that mythic gear. We should be able to. I'm pretty sure. Now, here, Megan did not have any resistance on her. And I didn't see a problem. Again, we made it to time 25.8 million. Now I'm going to go change some gear on Megan and make it so she has higher resistance. We got that legendary artifact that gives us like 90 resistance on its own, 25% additional healing, but really I just got it for the resistance. Now she should resist a lot of those frost debuffs, which means she's taking a lot less damage, but she was still alive at the end of the last battle, so it's not a big deal. I think it's fine. I just kind of wanted to see what these bosses were like, what positioning we needed to do, how far we could go with just some rares and epics. I did try a Dree in here and she was doing amazingly well. But she was kind of doing the same thing that all these other heroes are doing right now. We've already got recharge speed penalty. Adri was doing that. We don't have anybody really knocking back the ultimate gauge too much except for Questa. So again, we made it to time. This and well, we got to 28 million this time. So yeah, without the mythic gear, we could still get 22 million. It's just a matter of getting damage in here and maybe switching out some heroes or gear to get some more damage. Because I didn't go with like the best, best gear, which is good. I only use crit rate gloves. I didn't use critical damage gloves and really try to pump out insane damage on these. That's it for the ice boss. If you have any questions, let me know down below. We'll have multiple videos on all these bosses, all these chief challenges for season three. So make sure you subscribe and I will see you all in a video soon.